when it comes to a lot of the apps like your TikToks and um you know and and anything that comes from a company named Tencent it's a Chinese thing and whether you want to respect the fact that China is a really awful place that commits a lot of human violations including the whole Hong Kong thing it's really disheartening to see the some of the people with the greatest influence in the nation basically bend the knee to them we have this pardon we have this article coming to us from the epic times AG Barr slams Hollywood, big tech, for kowtowing to communist China over profits. This is written by Kathy He. There's uh, AG Barr. Um, I think he left a very important uh, entity out, and that's the NBA. Now, last week, the NBA got into a lot of trouble for not allowing the word free Hong Kong to be put on the back of its jerseys. And even before that, they had the situation with Daryl Morey, the Houston Rockets uh, manager who um, who tweeted out support for Hong Kong. Now, if you are familiar with the movie Rush Hour, <laughs> a lot of it is based around Hong Kong going to moving from British rule, which was more democratic, to Chinese to Chinese rule, where the Chinese said, no, no, we'll let you keep your democracy. <laughs> All right. And so now um, they are locking down China and it's a. Uh, they're like China is locking down Hong Kong and it, it's terrible. It's awful. The people of Hong Kong, they are far more westernized than um, than China really has any tolerance for. And the fact that, you know, like our once again, our biggest influential spaces, Hollywood, um, bits, it's big tech companies and the NBA are just, oh, so what, what have you mastered? Like, this is America, right? Like this country is about, you know, the first day the, the the, the constitution this country is about is all about its constitution all the stuff that you guys get to, everyone gets to enjoy is due to the constitution of our nation which grants quite a few freedoms that other spaces such as china have no interest in and so it's actually really good to see the attorney general step up and say nah this is bullshit Attorney General William Barr called out corporate America, including Hollywood and big tech, for kowtowing to Beijing for the sake of profits in a speech highlighting the communist regime's threats to U.S. freedom and prosperity. Hollywood and U.S. tech companies have allowed themselves to become pawns of Chinese influence. Money, Barr said in a speech given at the General R. Ford Presidential Museum on July 16. You know, you take that Chinese money, but you spend it here in the States. I mean, come on, guys. <clears throat> For the sake of short-term profits, American companies have succumbed to Chinese influence, even at the expense of freedom and openness in the United States. There is there is actually a big chance that the uh, app TikTok, it's already been banned in India. And it more than likely, like the, the chances of it being banned here in the United States are pretty great because it's uh, it's a big spying machine. You know, if you ever saw was that the Dark Knight where he had the sonar off of everybody's cell phones. That's kind of in, 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 in a much less sexy way what uh, China's doing. His remarks come as the Trump administration sharply escalates its rhetoric and actions against the Chinese regime on a wide range of issues, including human rights, espionage, Hong Kong, and its cover-up of the CCP virus outbreak. In the... <laughs> so they went straight up. They straight up called it the CCP virus. <laughs> Not the Kung Fu or anything else. In the past week alone, Washington has sanctioned Chinese Communist Party officials responsible for rights abuses against the ethnic minorities in the region of Xinjiang, form, formally opposed Beijing's ter territorial claims and aggressive actions in the South China Sea, ended Hong Kong's special privileges with the United States following Beijing's imposition of a draconian national security law and signed into law a bill that sanctioned officials involved in suppressing freedoms in Hong Kong and in Hong Kong and the banks that do business with them. Hollywood and big tech. The attorney general pointed to the hypocrisy between, between, behind Hollywood's practice, Hollywood's practice of self-censorship in order to secure access to the world's largest movie market. And like, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're greedy. Like, they, they want all that. And that's why we, and honestly, that's why we can't get good stories anymore. For the most part, not good, complex stories. 
unless you know unless the aim is to just have a domestic release but there's so much money to be made over in china sure i mean i'll sell my soul to to, to make a couple extra bucks Every year at the Academy Awards, Americans are lectured about how this country falls short of a Holly Weird's ideals of social justice, he said. But Holly Weird now regularly censors its own movies to appease the Chinese Communist Party, the world's most powerful violator of human rights. For instance, a scene in the zombie block blockbuster World War Z was altered to remove the suggestion that the virus started in the apocalypse or originating in China, Bar Barr said. Meanwhile, the film industry is becoming more reliant on Chinese fan financing, and some U.S. firms have entered into joint ventures with Chinese film studios, paving the way for technology and know-how to be transferred to the country, the Attorney General warned. PRC may be less interested in cooperating with Hollywood than co-opting Hollywood and eventually replacing it with its own homegrown movie productions, Barr said. American big tech companies have also aided the regime in building surveillance technology and censored their products in exchange for access to the Chinese market, Barr said. Yeah. So basically, one of the one of the things he was just getting at is how they'll try to, um, you know, overtake Hollywood. I think they've already have in, in many ways, in many respects, but they still don't they, they don't get the the, the sensibilities that um, a lot of um, that, that how do I put it? There is there is such a culture gap. Like, yeah, there's like little fillers and the like, but there's such a culture gap between the United States and America, like full on taking over American production is just, it, it couldn't work, you know, <laughs> like it really couldn't. Uh, U.S. tech firm Cisco, for instance, helped Beijing build its vast internet censorship and surveillance apparatus known as the Great Firewall. He said others such as Google, Microsoft, Apple, and, and Apple have shown, Yahoo and Apple have shown themselves all too willing to collaborate with the CCP, Barr added. Apple, he said, has removed several apps from its Chinese app store after pressure from the Chinese regime and moved some of its iCloud data to servers to servers in China despite concerns that it would expose the data to access by the CB CCP. Co-opting business elite. The attorney general also warned that American business leaders have become the principal targets of Chinese influence operations in the U.S. He said the Justice Department has seen an increasing number of cases involving Chinese officials and their proxies reaching out to executives and seeking them out to take action favorable to the CCP, privately pressuring or courting American corporate leaders to promote policies or U.S. politicians presents a significant threat, Barr said, because hiding American voices allows the Chinese government to elevate its influence and put a friendly face on pro-regime policies. FBI Director Christopher Ray, Ray also recently said the Chinese regime has worked hard to co-op the people, the people closest to U.S. officials it is targeted for influence, such as business people and political donors. Some of these intermediaries may not even realize they're being used as pawns because they too have been deceived. Ray said at the time. So, and I think, and and, and I think that's where a lot of the um danger really lies is in the people that's just oh well you know black lives matter right you know i mean like they they keep pointing us in the direction of russia but when it comes to like you know a lot of like influence and like i mean china isn't to be china really shouldn't be uh shouldn't just be ignored in all of that Barr said that the actions by America's business elite who speak for Chinese companies or Beijing may implicate the Foreign Agents Restric Re Registration Act. The law requires those working on behalf of a foreign government or entity to register with the Justice Department. So, yeah, you know what? I think this video's run a little bit long, but it's very important to have these conversations, particularly up here on the channel, uh, because, you know, history is made every day, right? And it's important to stay on top of who, as a nation, the United States, who our friends are are who our enemies are and honestly we don't have friends now do we <laughs> we got associates we got acquaintances but ultimately everybody as they should is looking out for their own best interest and that's why it's super important for us to have people out there looking for ours you know so remember once again it's not just hollywood it's not just um it's not just big tech it's also the nba and realty companies i have absolutely no doubt that there's quite a bit of chinese investment in the um in the uh what's the name in the uh, housing market 
I mean, I'm pretty sure that there, you go through a lot of different areas and sections of this country and you'll find a ton of Chinese cash, uh, you know, weaved into it. So, you know, just keep keep your head on a swivel, guys. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the Internet stuff. If you like the toss, if you like this, like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. So if you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to give videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring. And YouTube, and bitch, you don't like, I'm the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is, uh, yeah like this is important this is uh super important to know exactly you know not just the how like like the, like those with the greatest influence those like all these you know black people talking about how uh white people are neanderthals and savages and stuff like that <laughs> like, <laughs> like i don't know somebody tossed dollars in their pockets but you may disagree and that's what my comment section's for until the next one